G'day, Glav here and welcome back. This is video three and the final video of the Black Sheep MC Thailand wandering the paddocks of Australia on our Aussie adventure. This video covers days 10 through to 15 where we travel just shy of 3,000 k's, 2,928 k's. It's 7.30am, day 10, just, just leaving Port Pirie. Can't remember how many kilometres today, oh, just shy of 600. On our way to the Coonawarra wine region, yeehaw. This is the A2 highway, southern Australia. We're sort of just following the coast. This is sheep and wheat country. We're going to go north of Adelaide and avoid going through Adelaide in case there's any traffic. just followed my nose and ducked and weaved. I've ended up in the Barossa Valley to all these vineyards. Beautiful bit of road too and really nice countryside. Vineyards everywhere. And nice riding road to boot. Not, what's, not sure what's wrong with these fucking South Australian motorcyclists. You give them a nod or you give them a wave nothing back in response for well, having some fun through here don't know where the hell we are I know the last township we went through was Palmer some really nice motorcycle roads this this just thousands of acres of vineyards. Kinawara is still 86 kilometres away but look at the grapes on the left and the right. Clearly different varieties too. It's a beautiful area through here. It's lush and green. Very picturesque with the grape vines, a lot of them red and oranges. Just gorgeous, look at that. Rolling into Coonawarra, passing all my favourite vineyards. This is day 11, no riding today. We're spending the day in the Coonawarra wine region, notably one of the best red wine districts in the world and I just love my red wine. Just as well because it's raining outside and it does not look good for the next few days. Today we're doing a half day tour of some of the wineries via a minibus so we're not drinking and driving. The region is simply stunning. This is drone footage I just took this morning outside my hotel room. Second winery, it's about half past 11 or something. 
Um, Redmond's was the first winery we went to, uh, which is some sentimental meaning for me. Um, now we're in the second winery and we'll probably go to lunch after this. I don't know this one, this is Leakenfield. Um, as I said earlier, anything red in the Coonawarra is just sensational. Let's go in and try a couple. This is our third winery that we're into. Um, we're going to have lunch here. Uh, we think this is Patrick's winery and we did this for Frog. Um, so we had to stop here for lunch and we're having a platter shortly, which I'll show you. And some fine wines as well, given they're in the Coonawarra. Yee hard, life is so tough, I don't know how I deal with it. Cheers. Cheers. Patrick's and our lunch has just arrived. Look at that. Giddy up. Don't Needless to say, I think we're having a very good day. <laughs> we're at our, I don't know, about our fifth or sixth winery today. Done a tasting of about six, seven, eight wines at each. Just a little bit. We're quite happy. This is very picturesque indeed. Uh, I forgot to mention we're at the Rye Mill Winery. Very picturesque spot. This whole area is just gorgeous. So at Rye Mill they have a viewing platform. We actually go into the winery, see all the wine in the oak barrels over there and all the casts here fermenters and that all works very cool must say well, Ryan Mills set this up in a very very classy what it is. That's motorcycling for you. Ocean Road but unfortunately it's uh, pissing down and so out to the right uh, out to the right the uh, Great Southern Ocean from the very south of Australia and fortunately unfortunately for the rain can't see fuck all but we will still pull up at the 12 Apostles and go for the walk in and see what we can make out there it's only about another 8 k's so Happy days, kind of, sort of. So here we are at the Twelve Apostles. Just pissed down rain. I said to Rutka, we wait a minute, it'll probably stop. And lo and behold, it has, thank Christ. There were Twelve Apostles, but apparently I think there's only about ten now because a couple of have crumbled into the ocean. There won't be too many more years where I guess the rest will go. What a beautiful spot. This is the Great Southern Ocean at the very south of Australia, off the coast of Victoria. South down that way is Tasmania. Seriously impressive, but blowing a gale.
to Apollo Bay. Look at that view out to the right, straight out to Bass Strait. This is actually Marengo, which is just before Apollo Bay. Very nice beach. The only thing down here is it gets fucking cold. The water's cold. kilometers of just following the coastline around just a shame it started to piss down again can't speed apart from the wet and slippery roads you can't speed around here anyway Victorian police are very strict on speed you don't even get one kilometer leeway which is just ridiculous revenue raising bullshit Good morning, day 13, it's friggin cold about 10 degrees we have our wets on because we're expecting rain we're avoiding Melbourne and directly heading for Bacchus March and eventually we'll end up back on the Hume Highway doing about 670k today. We're just about to come into a town called Bacchus Marsh. We're avoiding Melbourne. Bacchus is the Greek god for wine, women and song. Isn't that right, Bacchus? Not going to bore you. Done about 280 kilometres of about 660 all up. We're going to be sitting on this dual carriageway for a very long. This is it. Why? This is the inland highway. of the rock in his banana suit. We're still on that same highway that I mentioned four hours ago. He feels comfortable in the banana suit. He says he likes it and needs to wear it more. Banana on a BMW. Oh, now he's showing off by standing up. That's how he stretches. I can't stand up on the Indian. Well, half the time he just does that because he can. We are about 30 kilometres outside of Kudamundra, where we'll be pulling up for, for tonight. When we pull up, we'll have done, oh, I don't know, uh, about 670 kilometres today, heading north. Only a couple of more days to the end of the trip. Good morning. If I wonder why I'm muffled, I've got a balaclava on at four or five degrees only. We're just leaving the little town of Kutamundra. Got 600 odd kilometres today, thereabouts, heading to the country music capital of Australia, Tamworth. Going through some beautiful little towns on the way, I know this road quite well. Giddy ups, what I say.
that's fucking annoying that is just going to go up a major road and there's signs saying road closed so much for Google Maps updating 10,000 times an hour fuck well, major major diversion now it's going to add at least half an hour we're almost going to get in on dark which as I keep keep raving about Australia is in the outback here in the countryside you don't want to be on the road at that time kangaroos are a real problem and I know from bitter experience because I hit one ah oh, crap that's pissed me off solar farm on the left isn't that environmentally visually attractive and I are just rolling into the little township of Kula. We need, probably don't need fuel, but beautiful red trees in autumn. Pretty little town. What's worse than a gravel road? A gravel road with a water truck running up and down it making it all slippery, slimy and muddy. suburbia of the regional city of Tamworth which is the country music capital of Australia went through some beautiful country today it's only a transport leg when we pull up at the hotel 615 kilometers done this is the end of day 14 home tomorrow yippee ki -yay. Seven AM on the dot. It's also five degrees, so chipper chipper. Day fifteen, last day of the ride, last day of Aussie adventure. Just leaving Tamworth. Gonna stop in on Armadale to call in and see my sis on the way. Just rolling into Armadale. Done about 110 k's. Armadale's up on the New England Tableland, very pretty little town, but fucking cold. I've just stopped it for a coffee and crepe with my sister in Armadale. Armadale's a very nice town, but I don't know, it's approaching 10 o'clock in the morning and it's still only 9 degrees. Yeah, just rolling. We're on the New England Highway, still knocked down about 320 odd kilometres. Rolling into the town of Wollongarra. What does Wollongarra mean? Well, we're passing from New South Wales into Queensland. We're in Queensland now. God's country. Rock and I are just coming up over Cunningham's Gap. That's the end of our excellent Aussie adventure. 8,050 kilometres in 15 days. Many thanks to my mate, The Rock, for making the effort to come all the way over to Thailand and make this simply a sensational ride. Please remember what I always say, folks, life can be ever so pretty short. Therefore, live life today.